if you watch some of the previous videos, you saw that Emma decided that she wanted to use the Shield EZ-9 as her defense gun. So I wanted to get her something that would be able to hold the gun. So we have got the two gun keypad vault from SnapSafe. You can check this out on the website, shop.doubleeaglegunworks.org. Let's take a look at it. So you can get two guns in this, probably actually more than, than two guns, but we'll go ahead and open it up and show you what it looks like. Let me hit you with the thing here. Okay, and pull that box down. Well, that didn't work. Okay, okay. now we move that. Okay, grab the, yeah. Got the instructions here. Now, so you take the styrofoam off. Oh, whoops. I think you touched something. Yes, I touched one of the, the buttons there. Now, this one is the, the touch pad type box. But? So you, you've got the keys on the top and you can either do a four code or a six code combination to do, to open the vault. And it's also got, if the batteries die, you've got to override right here so that you can use a key. So you want to keep the keys somewhere that you'll know where they're going to be at. So if it does, if the batteries do die on you, you can actually get to your gun. It doesn't come with batteries in it. The batteries are, are separate. Uh, so we've already, of course, took it, taken it out of the box and looked at it a little bit. So I went ahead and put some batteries in there, but I'll sh show you how to uh, get those out here in just a minute. But it comes from the factory. You can either open it with the key or the standard code from the factory is just one, two, three, four. So when you punch in, when you start to punch in a button, it will actually light up the keypad. So there's one, two, three, four, and it, the little motor pops the safe door down. And so on the inside, this one's got a shelf that you can, so you can put two guns in there or one gun and whatever other small items you wanna put in there. But the thing I like about this one is it's got padding on both shelves. So you, uh, it's gonna protect the finish of your gun no matter which shelf you put it on. And of course, it's got the book there that's got all of the other things available from uh, SnapSafe as well. It's got the accessory book here, all the different things that come from SnapSafe. And so this is just a, a brochure rather than any instructions or anything here. But the actual instructions are in the owner's manual here and it's just real simple instructions. Really the only thing you gotta do to, for this thing is just program the code in. And it's, it's pretty simple to do that. Once you get the batteries in and to get to the battery compartment, there's a little door on the inside here. You just pull that down and it lets the batteries come out in the little module that holds the batteries in place right here. It takes four AAA batteries. Once you get the batteries put in, this put it back in the door, and then just push the, the battery compartment door back up in the top of the box. Now, to program the code, pretty simple to program it. To the left of the battery door, there's the program button. So if you feel on top of the, the safe in the padding here, you can feel a little indention, and that's the program button. To be able to program the new code, you would just you press the button and hold it until the green light blinks and then you punch in your code. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four again. And then you hit the program button again. The yellow light blinks, punch in the code one more time and then hit the program button again. The green light blinks and it's got it locked in there. So you just to try it out, you do one, two, three, four. And you, then you hear the mechanism work. Now what happens if you uh, press the wrong one? Say one, two, four, three. If you press the wrong button, you get a red light showing that the, it's not gonna open. And then when you press the correct combination, 
the door pops open. So if you're, when you're setting this thing up, most people are going to have their, the four fingers on the button so that you're. I mean, it had the finger looking thing. You're looking at it. That's, that's why the, the buttons are in a, an arc there so that you can put your fingers on it. So you would just program it with your, how you want to punch your hands in and you can do it whatever combination of four digits or six digits that you want to do that's easy for you to remember. And then on the inside you've got, got the shelf, but really that's all that you need to do to the thing. And it's got holes in the bottom of it. For mounting. So that you can mount it, have two slider there and then permanent screws up front to affix it down to a shelf or wherever you're going to mount this thing. Uh, but it's a very, seems like a pretty well-built safe and compact too. I've had one similar to this for years and it's worked great for me. There's lots of other ones out there and just want to show you a couple of other options. The gun that Emma's going to use is the Shield EZ. And so it's just going to lay right in there. So you can put the gun in and you've got room on the sides of it to put the spare magazine or you can put, you, put you some you. ammo or something down in the bottom of it or put something else in the bottom that you wanted to, to keep safe as well. So there's lots of different things that you can put in there. Just opening the box and doing the initial uh, look on the safe or the vault, whatever you want to call it. Looks like it's pretty well built. The um, the seams and everything on it. Oh, the shelf. Yeah, the, the shelf has padding on it, but the the seams are nice and tight. The the welds uh, look like they're they're put together well. You really can't even see where the thing is put together. Really. Um, I I don't, I don't. So it, it's, it's very well made, got a nice uh, powder coat, textured finish on it that should hold up pretty well. So if you're looking for a nice two gun vault for your closet or wherever you want to uh, store a couple of guns, check out the, the SnapSafe keypad vault. I think you'll be well pleased with it. So just a couple other options. Okay, so this one is one that I bought several years ago from Gun Vault and it's, Dusty. Very similar to the one from SnapSafe. It's a little bit wider and just a, just a little bit longer, but it is shorter. When you open this one, it's got the shelf in it, but the, the shelf for this one does not have any padding on the top of it. It's got a textured finish on it, but it doesn't have any padding. And the battery compartment for this one, you've actually got to pull the liner down from the inside of the, the box to be able to get to it. That doesn't Th sound like this it. one is very easy to get to as far as the battery compartment. It's got the door readily accessible in there. You just flip it down and it's ready to go. This one, you've got to pull the, the liner back. So now the liner's falling down a little bit in the back side of the vault just because I've had to move it a few times to be able to change the battery because it will kill the battery over time at, after you've punched the buttons. I think these are still a lot more reliable than the types that use your fingerprints just because sometimes those fingerprint readers don't work exactly right. But And also if somebody uh, stole your finger, they could use your safe. Well, if they stole your finger, you're probably not going to have your, your finger on you, so you might not be in very good shape to worry about it anyway. So, But anyway, that's 12-year-old logic for you. <laughs> Uh, but with this one, I actually store several guns in this one. You, you've got room to put multiple guns in here. I think at one point I had up to like five guns in this one. But then the, the bottom shelf, I keep my 320 in here. It's got plenty of room to store several guns. So that's a, another type that's a, available. And then if you just want one that goes in a drawer or something like that, then this one 
from stack on. Again, it's got a, a key to override on it. Still got a keypad on it, just a three combination thing, but you can do multiple dots on there. It will just hold one gun and spare magazine in there, but it's a pretty nice option as well. The batteries on this one are easily accessible as right here in this, the front part of the thing. Looking at them this way, this one's a lot taller and less slanted. Yeah, this, this one is taller, uh, especially in the back, uh, so it's going to uh, give you more room to get your hand and everything in there to get it out. So the snap safe is a really good option. I really like the way that one is designed. It's uh, got more padding on the inside of it, and the, the battery option is a lot nicer than the one that I've had uh, for years. But just a couple of different options for you to take a look at. And if you need somewhere to store a gun, you want to have these things so that you can keep them away from people that don't need to be able to get to them. So check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com for more information. Like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.